Thanks for staying with us. All right, so we're still discussing the, a, a different layer of this cheating conversation. And the part where we are now is, should a woman confess if she finds herself cheating? And we had several calls. Some said, don't try that. Some are saying that, uh, don't confess to me. We, I'd like to hear a man tell me it's okay that you like your woman to, to be open. Um, I asked the ladies if... Um, they are, if their spouses are aware of their past. In my own case, my spouse has no clue about my past. He's, in fact, he never wanted to know. He said, Mariah, I don't, I don't want to know anything mm, about your past. Me. I wanted to give him all the gist. I wanted to, because I, I just felt like I had a lot of stories to tell because I had experiences. I mean, not to, I had a lot of, you know, fun dates and so many things. He doesn't even want to know a clue. He wants to have a, doesn't want to know, you know. And I, I, I still feel that, I still feel like, I don't know, why would I be in a marriage where my husband doesn't know anything about my past? I would really like for him to know. But, you know, recently, I think a few days ago, my husband <coughs> ran into one of my friends in the, uh, I will be somewhere exish, so exish, yeah. you know, and she just took a picture of him. Who is this guy? said, do you know Mariah? And, you know, he's one of your fans. I said, no, bro, he's not That's my not fan. fan. <laughs> That's no fan. Right? <laughs> that was an ex. <laughs> like, oh, really? I, he, he just, was just talking about you like a fan. Like, I know, I know this guy. I knew his <laughs> name. But he's just one of those friends. I mean, nothing happened, but mm. it's just that he's somebody that was there. So while we're having this conversation, I'm not remembering that. This, I, I would have liked for, because he's somebody that I would have liked for my husband to even have a clue that, okay, you met this guy, this is the kind of the person that used or to, Mariah used to just, I know, just to res, give you some respect, what? that Mariah used to, be, ah, the sort of people that okay, confess you, to you, a correct guy, guy now, okay, no, don't think, so like, only you find, I guess, oh, I don't get, I, well, I don't I get, get your it. kind for past, so, don't so, ask it now, only well, you, that's why we say some people confess for selfish reasons, yes. oh, yeah, yes. mm. but, okay, yes, the selfish, why do you, is the selfishness, yeah. that they, you want to show off to, that, you know, I got some, okay, let's open this conversation a bit, I've had issues of, you know, people bringing up confession stories, you know, this family extended, extended, mm. that things will happen. And then you have to be ready for very deep conversations that probably you may not have been having with your spouse. Yeah. They will now ask you questions like, uh, what was it that attracted you to this? What did he have mm. that I did not have? Mm. Mm. It opens now, new wounds. Wait till you not be, because you don't want to, you are already confessing, you don't want to offend. You don't want him to lie on top. You don't want to lie on top. You ah. have to be honest. Then that's okay. What, what were you people doing? How did you do it? How did you meet Did him? you do it better than I did? Hey. What was the attraction? What was, did he give you this? Did he give you, how did he make you feel, you know? Are you ready to have that conversation? Mm. Because the truth of the matter is, we are not all perfect, right? In our relationships, we find a way to, you know, patch ourselves, compliment ourselves, handle ourselves. You know that this person is just a 70%. You mean I'm just Let probably... me pause you for a second. I don't want to lose this okay. call. Jocker has been holding. Good morning, Jocker. Good morning, ladies. You're live. How are you? Go ahead, Fine. please. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, this is a personal experience. Hmm. Share with us. Uh, in my, I need mean my marriage. You know, one of my husband's friends, very close friends, approached me. So when I got home, I told my husband like that... Him. See this man that he said is your close friend, is your brother. See what he said. You, you know what happened? Uh, the time, there was a time we were quarreling. Mm -hmm. He used this Against to you. abuse me. Ew. Yes. That is it was after I have uh, accepted for him, telling him nonsense. So, I don't think uh, it's that good. Mm, Men are very jealous. Mm, yeah. very they are more jealous than that? women. Yeah. Yeah. Use it to well well, thank you so much, Jacket. That, that's a very good story. A lot of men. Mm. So, you, all, all he did was just talk to, mm. to the wife. And nothing happened. He did what I said. But while they are fighting, like, you know, after you've already done the thing, you're not coming to my Tell oh. me that he approached you. So, in their mind, <coughs> just from a conversation, you've already done the deed. Imagine how you actually done the deed. <laughs> from <laughs> dream. <laughs> so I like, where, I like where you're going, where yeah. it's hard conversation yeah. of where you're unpacking yes. the relationship. So, so because we have, you know, we realize that nobody's perfect, you're 70, maybe I'm even 40, mm. and we have been managing ourselves, you know, then you do something like this and you bring it, and then the person is now asking, maybe the person is even in the 40, for instance, and he's now asking you questions of, okay, so what was I not doing well? How did you, why did you get to a point where you had to be confident enough or, or um, mm. to go with this person with everything and 
You, because you don't want to lie, you will not start opening things that you had started managing before it was not a problem for you in your mm. marriage. You will not start opening things, you don't do this, you don't do that, or you were not doing this, you were not doing that, you were not doing this. And this man, all his life, because women lie a lot to men, from the time he was a teen to an adult, mm. nobody had ever told him he had that flaw, or nobody had ever told me he had that mm. uh, disadvantage, or I don't want to call the name, yeah. or whatever it is, yeah. that he has not working for him. And after a few years of marriage, he now took the cheating wife to come and expose that. Mm. It damages the ego of that man. Yeah, it's, forever. For some people, they the can marriage. never yeah. come out of it. Yeah. So you must weigh your confessions very well. The, I, the, the advice is, do not even do it mm. in the first place. Do well, whatever you can to protect yourself in the first place. But when, it happens, but if, when it happens and you fall, sister, seek advice from the Lord. So would we now tell men that if we cheat, mm. also keep it secret, don't tell anybody? Let's, uh, let's um, take this call. Good morning, Jide. Good morning. You're live. Thanks man. for calling. How are you? Very good. I love your discussion. Thank you, sir. Very, very interesting. So, uh, what you are doing is saying is very, very good because, no, uh, well, not everybody, as a man, you like that conversion to know what was happening to you before. Mm. Because we are jealous. We are jealous. If you do that to me, I will not accept it all. I won't accept it. Okay. It is better you go. It will. You better keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Mm. Mm. Because no man wants to hear what you do with other man. Oh. Quite interesting. Thank you, Jide. I, I like that a lot of men are calling and say they, they don't want to hear yeah, it. That's yeah. good feedback for a lot of women who yeah. feel to that point. But if we flip it over, when a man cheats on you and he keeps a secret, we don't like that he keeps a secret because, you know, we always snoop around don't. somehow, somehow. We don't like that he keeps a secret. We want oh. to know. We want him to confess and tell us what happened. We are coming to you. I heard that you are cheating on me. Tell me. But some women... really want that when you are asking I, I don't questions. know if women... I think... We, I, you know, I mentioned earlier that some women are able to look away if mm -hmm. the cheating is discreet, yeah. if it's done in such a way that you don't know anything mm -hmm. about it. And um, um, yes, there are some people who would snoop because, okay, maybe they've noticed a difference in a behavior or a pattern of the husband and they're snooping to find out. It's not really to find out if he's cheating. They're hoping not to find out what they think that they're suspecting. I, yeah. I don't yes. think any person wants to really know. Wants to know you know, that you're constantly being betrayed. Um, you just want to be reassured mm. that you're not being um, cheated. So that's how I see women go after it. It's not like they want you to tell them that, yes, I'm cheating on you. Because for me, I feel that when, that, when it happens at that point, we're now dealing with a whole different relationship. That marriage, even if it doesn't break up legally, emotionally, a lot of people would have moved on. You know, it would take a lot of work to... To do that, and many people are afraid that they may not have the energy for mm. that sort of work. The work is heavy. <laughs> Let me take a from. A... Oh, sorry, are you done? <laughs> Let me take a bimbola from London. You're live. Good morning, Morayo. Good morning. I love your topic today, but wow. I you to one thing. It is very hard <coughs> for any man to take it in. How do I feel if my wife should come up to me and say, I've been born, I cheated on you. <laughs> I wanted to know what I'm not doing good. Mm. That mm, you find interesting in him. Yeah. It is better you keep it, I don't want to know about it. Because men, they jealous more than what you think about. Mm. Imagine if my wife tells me that this is what happened behind me. <laughs> In fact, I won't get that out, out of my brain. When touching her, mm. I'll be thinking, is it the same way you touched her? Or I'm not getting it right. In fact, that may even end up destroying the relationship. Mm. So it's better she, she keeps it to herself mm. forever. It's interesting. Thank very you very interesting. much. Very interesting. Um, as much as you know, we like that the men are very emphatic on what they would like. I just, I'm sorry, but just the hypocrisy of this thing is just getting at me. Because you're saying, I don't want to know, I don't need to hear. But we hear men say, when you cheat on, I'm not cheating, I don't love her. It's different. So why do you, are you now asking, what is this person doing differently? What are you going to look for? Why do you, why is it that 
when a, a woman is not meant to have those questions, a woman is just meant to believe that, oh, man, he's with that person just because. It has nothing to do with <coughs> what you have or what you don't have or what is working in a marriage or what is not working in a marriage. It's just a thing I'm doing outside you. It's really about me. But here are men saying, if I were to hear you say you've cheated, I want to know what is it that is missing in me that you're seeking it from someone else. So can a wife now ask, what is it in me that you're seeking somewhere else and you will not give her that answer of is because it's, you know, it's really not about what is happening at home. The yeah, man absolutely. let me take the conqueror, the lion, and right. the, what's that last one, that, that, that song now? The man is the hunter. Yeah. The man is the chaser. Zobu, zobu, yimba, The man is the yimba. Let, yeah. me, let me take okay, this, take this, 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 this I'm lesson. Uh, my father cheated on my mother, left, abandoned us for 20 years. Mm. When he got sick, he came back. My mother nursed him to death. Now we have that. We have a lot that. of men. That have, that's a whole nother topic. Mm -hmm. Where a man abandons his family, goes after somebody else. We don't know if it is jazz or whatever it is. Because that's just the easiest excuse men use. Is, oh, they jazzed me. Anyway, <laughs> he goes off. This one, 20 years, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. Then he falls sick at some point. Girlfriend abandons him. Before. He comes back to first wife. First time is advised to open her arms, mm. take him back now. She be Baba when he's the father of natural. your children. Mm. She's a nurturer, you know. She, you know, at least he's back. Your wife, your, your daughter is about to get married now. At least you have her, her father to walk her down the aisle. All those various sentiments we put together. Now she nursed him till death. So they'll say, Don't worry, he'll come back. Come back at what as, age? Yeah, come back at, at, at what time? Come back at what, what state? state? To what? At what stage? You use your youth to you, fire somebody yes, else. You now come, come back. back. You see, that, that's a topic for another day. Yeah. Yes. But let me respond to uh, yeah. what she just said. Uh, why are we not asking women? Uh, why are women not allowed to ask the same questions? Yeah. Like, or giving the or, right answer. Right, they will ask the question, yeah, but, but the, the answer is... The yeah, answer, yeah. yes. Yeah. So because the society has assigned the roles, the man sees himself as... Uh, he boosts his ego with the number of people he's able to conquer. conquer. And even if he marries you, he has conquered as a man. That's my territory. I have conquered. Now me, now me, they do this one. Now me, get this, madam. See, as Moriah being, now me, they in charge mm. of Moriah. When another man now takes possession of what you're supposed to be in charge of, mm. if it's in the animal kingdom, now serious fight, though. You see the lions fighting. But they've conquered your wife. They've conquered your wife. Mm. So I like it. I like how she said it. But in this new world, of what do you bring to the table? 50-50, mm. I am a la, you are the on, lion. <laughs> we are both lions. So who is conquering what? Okay, we'll ask another question. Let me take one. It is the same. That's Let the new marriage that we have today. Who told you that? OK. okay. The Bible says the Kiddiko is the same today and for a God. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. No, uh, Jesus the Christ, not say marriage. And marriage and always reflects the society the and time. The Bible has not changed. It's the same thing. So let me take the answer to your question about young people. Our final caller. Good morning, Festus. Are you there? I'm here. I'm You're live. Go Facebook. ahead, please. I'm here. So <laughs> I cheated on my girlfriend friend that time. Okay. And I told her. Okay. He wasn't there, but I just told her. Okay. So she told her pastor what I did. So her pastor now asked her, Why you there? How did you know? Then she told her pastor, you know what I told her, and now I told her. Then the man said, This man likes you. Mm. For you not to be there, and she, you know, she told you what, uh, he told you what he did mm. at your back. Uh, the man loves you. Okay. Because so many men will hide it. Mm. So she came back to tell mm. me. So the next time she was visiting, she brought condom for me. So. Uh, don't bring this, this. don't bring Are this, don't bring that. So, don't, uh, uh, that one, I was feeling good that time. So, but now, you know, we are set to. Okay, are you married? With you her? Did, did you marry yes. her? Are you guys married? Yes, yes. He so married the girl. If, something, if, you, if you know one another, you know, you don't keep secret. But the That's woman tough. should not confess. That's the, okay, the woman should not confess. Yes, because what? the way a man thinks is not the way woman the thinks. Woman we are not the same thing. Okay. Man and working. woman, we are not the same thing. Let me tell you so. We are not the same thing. Okay. okay. Let me tell you, even if you read Bible very well, mm -hmm. 
man was made directly from the uh, dust. Okay. But the you know from woman to be made, they took from man. So we are not the same thing. Okay. And right. it, it was the woman that ate that food, and okay. so they are wiser. Mm. Okay, first of let me be clear. Let me be sure I'm clear. So you cheated on her, and you confessed. Yes. But you're saying yes, if she I cheats on you, she shouldn't con 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 confess. You wouldn't take it. No, no, she's no. not a conqueror. Okay, mm. all right. No. Thank you so much, Vesta, for your comments. All right. So now, this is, in fact, we've gotten so many more topics. Another topic that just came from this: that your pastor says ah, for him to confess, mm. he must really yeah. love you, wow. and because of that, you went to go and buy condoms. That's an interesting angle. Uh, my sister, I have the same thing that happened. An elderly woman just in us her youth. When they just got married, she noticed that the guy was philandering. Just bought packs of condom. When he's yeah. going, he put in his bag. So the question, no, no, my own so question, question is, 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 that, is that for peace of mind? Or is that for, for I don't have the confidence to leave no, you? For the fact that I know you are doing this is not a deal breaker for me, but don't bring any disease home. Ah. People just find a way to... See, I just wish that... No, for me, that part of the conversation the is, the pastor says it shows that he loves you. Mm -hmm. I would have thought the pastor would say that the fact that he cheated on you means he doesn't love you because adultery is not allowed. You know, uh, I thought that is what I would be getting from no. church. So, the pastor is a no, man. no, remember we're talking even about girlfriend, boyfriend. We're not married talking yet. about married people who were going to say, okay, now work on your marriage. Mm. And then the person is already cheating on you before mm. marriage. Uh. And the pastor says, you know, he must love you. Yes. Is there me. not mixed messaging? Yeah, no, so I think that. the pastor is first a man before pastor. Oh, no. So sometimes, no, is, honestly, is, we need to look at these things yeah. very well. Sometimes, mm -hmm. when you come to them, you think you are hearing the Holy Spirit. You are actually hearing the man. And that's what played out. He spoke as a man. He did not speak. But she went to her pastor so that he can speak to her as a pastor. Now, every is day, it, day, they that's a different own. topic. Oh. <laughs> you see that? Stop <laughs> confusing young people. <laughs> Stop confusing to, them. Have, because we have to wrap up. One person that did not go back to the pastor would say, on the pulpit, my pastor said, what you did is wrong. Mm. So he yeah, did not have that was in the time, spirit when time, he met Time is over. It's fine. Show, it's okay. <laughs> but the, not the, um, what's the moral? Yeah, basically, give us the moral. The moral of the story is, First of all, you need to know your deal breakers. Understand that these things can happen. Mm -hmm. And understand the man that you're going to be confessing to. If it's someone that can take it, if it's someone that cannot take it, deal differently. If you have your way, avoid doing it totally. That's what I was. So saying. when you, you want to say something? Don't confess. <laughs> Don't confess. <laughs> all right. So if you're a woman, you cheat. Don't confess. <laughs>